It seems like everybody's caught the censorship bug. You've got YouTube blocking content. You got Facebook blocking content. You got the hypocritical right trying to ban books. So I guess Twitter got lonely and was like, can I censor some people too? That's how we've ended up with this new policy to protect your privacy. Your. Right. We all know who this applies to. Twitter recently updated their privacy policy, adding in a new rule that bans the sharing of private content without someone's consent. Quote, there are growing concerns about the misuse of media and information that is not available elsewhere online as a tool to harass, intimidate, and reveal the identities of individuals. Oh, there are, but I'm sure Twitter isn't talking about the people I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of all the people targeted by the woke left and now being targeted by the hypocritical right. I'm pretty sure Twitter will be in a tizzy about the latter ones and won't give two amber hurts about the former ones. I can prove this by Twitter literally having this double standard in place for years. They've allowed progressives free reign to do whatever they want, from incels to doxing to death threats. There have been numerous examples of progressives making threats and even inciting violence against people, most infamously the litany of hate tweets still on Twitter directed at the Covington High School boys. Twitter has allowed hashtags like kill all men, ignored racists like Tariq Nasheed, and defended violent groups like BLM and Antifa. Usually, none of the right-wing counterparts get the same pass, and when they do, that's because the people running Twitter didn't know about them. The moment they find out, the Twitter mods ban the bigots. That's a clear double standard. Both sides act like asshats, but only one gets punished, while the other one doesn't just get a pass, but gets praised and trends on Twitter for doing it. Based on that, it seems like the concern is that the right will behave, again, in the way the left has been allowed to behave for years. Maybe you should have thought about that while you were letting the left act like a bunch of mean girls. Twitter continues, quote, Sharing personal media, such as images or videos, can potentially violate a person's privacy and may lead to emotional or physical harm. So you're going to be banning all them videos of Wakandans recording some Karen they're arguing with, right? How about them racist store owners? Or maybe the next time someone forgets, it's ma'am. You're banning all of those. Or is it just the ones pointing out the left's stupid shit? Because I have a feeling you're not going to touch a single one of them videos all up in some white woman's face. But you will ban anything showing some black dude acting a fool. Don't take my word for it. Take Twatters. Quote, the misuse of private media can affect everyone, but can have a disproportionate effect on women, activists, dissidents, and members of minority communities. So you're doing this to protect BLM and Antifa. Damn, Andy now must have really hit a nerve. You know he's only one dude, right? He's one guy barely anyone follows. I mean, come on. You're not going to apply this to the teabag holdover still bitching about chocolate Jesus. We're watching the hypocritical right slide right back into their hate the queer saddle. They put the needle back on the We've Never Been Racist album, just ignoring all the scratches. They've got their Bibles ready to be thumped. By all metrics, they're technically activists and dissidents. Are you going to prevent anyone from sharing their information? Didn't think so. This is only going to apply in one direction. And honestly, it's not even about the usual snark and sniping that happens on the Twitter. This is about shutting down independent journalists like Andy No. That's why they included the bit about activists and dissidents. This is about controlling the narrative by barring anyone from showing anything that contradicts or exposes it. Twitter claims that this policy, quote, is not applicable to media featuring public figures or individuals when media and accompanying tweet texts are shared in the public interest or add value to public discourse. But they're the ones who get to decide that, and they've already shown themselves to be biased. They get to decide for you what's in the public interest or adds value to the public discourse. Of course, the policy is so vague that it can include any image or video of a person, even something a person posted themselves. The policy just states, quote, media of private individuals without the permission of the person depicted, meaning that if someone shared an image or a video and someone they didn't like retweeted it, there's nothing in the policy that bars the person from claiming that the retweet is a violation of their privacy. I've had this happen to me on YouTube with a one Christina Wombrun who didn't like my critique of her dumbass article claiming that the orcs from Lord of the Rings are coded as black. I used an image of her from the bio at the bottom of her article that she added, and she false flagged the video as a violation of her privacy. YouTube took down the initial video, but the re-upload and the follow-up video showing her face are still up. But that hasn't stopped her from filing false reports every few months for the last year. We're at four false reports now over an image she posted online on a public forum on her own. 
So when Twitter says they'll consider whether the image or video is already public, I don't believe them. YouTube allows this, and there's no reason to think Twitter won't do the same considering their lockstep in their other policies. I can imagine this being worse on Twitter, the pettiest place on the internet. You're going to have snowbodies on both sides false flagging each other over public tweets. And when it comes to the news, I can see Twitter claiming that the images or videos are being used to, quote, harass, intimidate, or silence people who share Twitter's political views, pretty much shutting down independent journalism on the site. The Rittenhouse trial was a public trial, and Twitter removed tweets about that. And that was being covered by the regular media. Is there any reason to assume Twitter won't abuse this to shut down people like Andy No? And of course, these idiots don't think more than one step ahead. So while they're so busy trying to protect Hunter Biden from scrutiny, they've instituted the policy globally, ignoring or forgetting that every country doesn't allow free speech. So those governments can push Twitter to censor content questioning their unethical regimes under the guise of protecting their privacy. Now, Twitter claims that the reports can only be filed by the person depicted in the image or video. But again, the company has a little credibility considering how they've ignored, bent, or violated their own terms of service in the past. This is such a stupid decision with an obvious political motivation. However, it has a very good chance of backfiring. If enough people targeted by Wakandans file complaints, Twitter will be forced to either follow the rule, thereby shutting down the woke left, or reveal their hypocrites, which may open them up to some liability issues if they're seeing aid in the violation of people's privacy since some states and countries do have laws against that. Of course, if Twitter were held to their word that their site is a digital public square and therefore subject to the same rules and policies governing real life public squares, we wouldn't be having this problem. Then again, it is a private business, so they can do whatever they want. Bet that doesn't sound so clever when it's being used against you, does it? But what do I know? I'm just some guy.